On January 22, millions of members of the Hindu community will witness what many believe to be a renaissance of Hindu ethos. Observers say that on January 22, when the inauguration of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya in Uttar Pradesh takes place on the date, the event will symbolize the rejuvenation of the Hindu belief after centuries of wait. One of the causes for excitement is the installation of the idol of Ram, who is a principal Hindu deity. Jan Bhumi Temple Pre Chief Priest Acharya Satyendra Das on Saturday said that Ram Raja is coming in Ayodhya as Ram Lala will be seated in the sanctum sanctorum of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya on January 22. Vedic rituals for the Pran Pratishta ceremony of the Ram Lala in Ayodhya will begin on January 16th, a week before the main ceremony. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is set to attend the installation of the idol of Ram Lala at the Grand Temple on January 22. A priest from Varanasi Lakshmi Kant Dixit will be performing the main rituals of the consecration ceremony of Ram Lala on January 22. From January 14th to 22, Ayodhya will mark the Amrit Mahotsav. A hundred, uh, 1,008 Hindu Mahagaya will also be organized in which thousands of devotees will be fed. Several tent cities are being erected in Ayodhya to accommodate thousands of devotees who are expected to arrive in the temple town of Uttar Pradesh for the Grand Pran Pratishta ceremony. According to the Sri Ram Jan Bhumi Trust, arrangements will be made for 10,000 to 15,000 people. And these are not only the events that are garnering space in the new space in India. On the flip side of all these celebrations of the Ram Temple, in a country where religion and social status often overlaps political narratives, the exchange between the political parties have been escalating as the temple's inauguration nears. Congress leader Sonia Gandhi, Malikarjun Kharge, Adir Ranjan Chaudhary declined the invitation to attend the Pran Pratishta ceremony. Months before the country heads to the polls, in a statement, the Congress said that its senior leaders would not be attending the inauguration ceremony. Lord Ram is worshipped by millions of India, Indians and region is a personal matter, the party's statement read. The Congress described the inauguration of an incomplete temple as a BJP tactic for electoral gain. Interestingly, even staunch of media critics of the Congress say that the Congress has never been ballistic on the Ayodhya issue. Although the Congress has distanced itself from the current Ranjan Bhumi Mandir consecration ceremony in 1991, the consecration Congress promised to be in favor of Ram Mandir. But the Congress declining the invitation, of course, did not go down well in its arch opponent, the BJP. Union Minister Smriti Irani went so far as to remark that they had no faith in Lord Ram. Union Minister Anurag Thakur also condemned the Grand Old Party's decision to not attend the event. The minister said the people will boycott the opposition party in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Just recently, on January 13th, even a politician from Northeast India, Assam's Housing and Urban Affairs and Irrigation Minister Ashok Singhal, criticized the Congress party after its leaders declined to attend the Pran Pratishta ceremony at the Ram Temple in Ayodhya. Singhal expressed his disapproval, stating that the Congress has lost its sense and opposing Lord Ram is tantamount to opposing India, Bharat, Bharatiya, culture, tradition and spirituality. Further, even Ranjan Bhumi Temple Chief Priest Acharya Satyendra Das on Saturday slammed Congress for turning down the invitation. He said that the Grand Old Party was making excuses to not attend the ceremony. Amid opposition claims that the Sankaracharya of four Peets have turned down invites to Pran Pratishta of Sri Ram Lala in Ayodhya as the temple is incomplete, Acharya Das said everything is being done as per the Shastras. जो कुछ यहाँ हो रहा है सास के अनुकूल ही हो रहा है सास के विपरीत कुछ नहीं हो रहा है और जितने भाग में रामलला को अर्थात्पित करना है उतने भाग बन गया है और उनका सिंहासन बन गया है उनके भवन बन गए हैं उनके जो होता है वो पर गोमज वो भी बन गया है सारी व्यवस्थाएं हो गई आप दूर से देखें चाहे नजदीक से देखें पूर्णतया व्यवस्थित हो चुका है धरातल एक भाग तीन भाग में बनना है तो एक भाग जब पूरा हो गया है और उसके उसके जो पूजा पाठ जो जिस प्रकार से होगी वो सब संपन्न होगा तो इस प्रकार के सोचना और ऐसा कहना कि अधूरा है अधूरा नहीं है जो भाग में रामलला 
का प्राण प्रतिष्ठा होगी और स्थापित होंगे वो पूर्णतया ये पूर्णतया व्यवस्थित हो गया बन के तैयार हो गया है इसलिए सास सम्मत है सास के विपरीत नहीं है और यह जो कह रहे हैं कि एक बहाना बनाना है नए आने के लिए कि सास सम्मत नहीं है इसलिए हम नहीं जाएंगे और सास के अनुकूल ही जितने भी काव्य हो रहे हैं वो शास्त्र के अनुकूल और शास्त्र ही प्रमाण है और सारे मंत जंत और अनुष्ठान जितने भी प्रारंभ होंगे वो सब के सब शास्त्र के अनुसार हैं